In this problem, we are given a data set, which is um, the weight of ears of corn. Now, luckily, they've already done a lot of the work for us. They've given us our five number summary, which is the minimum, the Q1, the medium, the Q3, and the maximum. Um, for IQR, for lower bound and upper bound, what we're, we're going to be interested in is going to be the Q1 and Q3. So first, let's start with the IQR. The IQR is probably the easiest thing to calculate here, which is going to be Q3 minus Q1. So our Q3 is 21.15, and our Q1 is going to be 14.05. Okay, so we got 21.15 um, minus 14.05, and this gives you 7.1. So our IQR is going to be 7.1. We need to find the lower fence and the upper fence for outliers. So the formulas for the lower fence and upper fence are as follows. The lower fence is going to be given by the formula Q1 minus 1.5 times the IQR, and the upper fence is going to be given by the formula Q3 plus 1.5 times the IQR. And we have everything that we need. All we have to do is plug stuff in. So we know that our Q1 is equal to 14.05 minus 1.5 times the IQR, which is 7.1. That'll give you the lower fence. You can use a traditional calculator, but be careful with that. Uh, depending on what kind of a calculator you have, you might have to multiply first. According to PEMDAS, multiplication always comes before adding and subtracting. To be on the safe side, I'm going to recommend using desmos.com. So I'm going to go to desmos.com, and I'm just gonna, going to input exactly what I see. So I have 14.05 minus 1.5 times IQR, which is 7.1. Okay, and my, my lower fence turns out to be 3.4, which means that any value that is lower than 3.4, that's going to be an outlier. That's my lower fence. For my upper fence, I have Q3, which is uh, 21.15. plus 1.5 times IQR, which is 7.1. Once again, I'm going to plug this into Desmos. So I have 21.15 plus 1.5 times IQR, which is 7.1, and I get 31.8. So this means that any value that is above 31.8, that is also going to be an outlier. So my upper fence is going to be 31.8. Now remember, the outliers are any values that are below 3.4 or above 31.8. So let's look on the lower side. Do I have anything less than 3.4? Well, my lowest value is 13.3, so I have no outliers on the lower side. Okay, let's look at the upper side. Do I have any outliers above 31.8? And I do, so 32.5, that is greater than 31.8. Since that is above 31.8, that is an outlier. So this one, this question just says, are there any outliers? You, you put yes or no. So yes, we do. They don't ask you to identify what the outlier is. If they did, it would be 32.5. They just want to know, do we have any outliers? Yes or no. And in this case, we do. Okay, in this question, we have uh, a data set and we need to list any outliers. So for outliers, we need to find Q1 and Q3. But before we could do that, um, our data set has to be uh, ranked from least to greatest. Now you can use a number sorter and just do copy and paste, but I'm going to just list these by hand. So my lowest value that I can see is 172. After 172, I have a 241. After two, oh, I'm sorry, I have 227. After 227 is 241. Then after 241, my next highest value is going to be 251. 
After that, my next highest value is going to be 252. After that, my next highest value is going to be 265. After that, my next highest value is going to be 278. After 278, it's 285. After 285, it's 287. And after 287, it's going to be 354. Now you can see that doing it by hand takes forever. So don't do that. Just use the, the number sorter um, and you, you know, use uh, rank those from least to greatest. Now, to find outliers, we need to know what is our IQR. And IQR is given by Q3 minus Q1. So let's find Q1 and Q3. Uh, I'm going to go through this pretty quickly because we've covered this extensively in 2.3 and the beginning of 2.4. So Q1, this is going to be the 25th percentile. And to find that, we use a locator index, which is going to be your percentile divided by 100 times the total number of values. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have a total of 10 values. When I do this, I get 2.5 um, as my locator index. Whenever my locator index is a decimal, you're always going to round up. So we're looking for the third location. And when the locator index is a decimal from the formula, we always round up only once. Third location is going to be 241. That's going to be my Q1. Okay, so Q1 equals to 241. Now I, I need to know, I need to find my Q3. So Q3, this is the 75th percentile. So the locator index is going to be given by 75 divided by 100 times the number of values, which is 10. If you put this in a cal calculator, we get 7.5. Once again, this is a decimal, which means I need to find the eighth location. Whenever we have a decimal, remember to round up to eight. So we're looking for the eighth location. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My eighth location is 285, and that is going to be my Q3. Now, once we have our Q1 and Q3, the next thing we need to do is we need to find the IQR. So our Q3 is 285, and my Q1 is 241. So if I subtract that, um, that's going to give me 44 as my IQR. Okay, now once I do this, I need to still find my lower fence and my upper fence because I'm looking for outliers. So my lower fence is given by the formula Q1 minus 1.5 times the IQR. And my upper fence is given by the formula Q3 plus 1.5 times IQR. And I have everything that I need. I know what Q1 is. Q1 is 241. My IQR is 44. My upper fence is Q3, which is going to be 285, plus 1.5 times IQR, which is 44. I do recommend Desmos to, to plug these in. So I have 241 minus 1.5 times IQR, which is 44. And then for my um, upper bound, my upper fence, I have 285 plus 1.5 times IQR, which is 44. So my lower fence is going to be 175, and my upper fence is going to be 351. Okay, lower fence is three, 175. Upper fence is 351. Now, how do I identify outliers? So my outliers are going to be any values that are lower than the lower fence, so below the lower fence or above the upper fence. So I look at my values and I ask myself, do I have any values that are below 175? And I do. I do. I do have one value below 175, which is the 172. So the 172, that's an outlier. I ask myself, do I have any values above 351? So the question is, do I have any values that are below 175? And do I have any values that are above 351? And I have both. Below 175 is 172, and above 351 is 354. So my outliers, and my final answer, is going to be 172 and 
354. Okay, for this problem, we're given the weights of um, of a manufacturing product or manufactured product, and they made things easy on us. They gave us what the Q1 and Q3 are. That's great. So let's go through and find our lower fence and our upper fence. So remember that the formula for our lower fence is Q1 minus 1.5 times IQR. And then the formula for the upper fence is going to be Q3 plus 1.5 times the IQR. So for that, we need to know what is our IQR. Well, our IQR is simply given by the formula Q3 minus Q1. So our Q3 is 483.44 minus our Q1, which is 475.7. And this gives you 7.74 as my IQR. So if I plug this in, my lower fence is going to be Q1, and Q1 is given to me as 475.7. minus 1.5 times the IQR, which is 7.74. Now for my upper fence, my formula is going to be Q3, which is also given, they made things easy on us. Q3 is 483.44, that's my Q3, plus 1.5 times the IQR, which is 7.74. Now, all I have to do is I have to go to Desmos and plug these both in. So let me start with the first one. And I'm going to forget this. I'll have to go back. I have 475.7 minus 1.5 times IQR, which was 7.74. So my lower fence is going to be 464.09. For my upper fence, I have my Q3 which is 483.44 plus 1.5 times IQR, which once again is 7.74, and that gives me 495.09. So my lower fence is going to be 464.09. My upper fence is going to be 495.05. So we have 464.09. I have 495.05 as my lower fence and upper fence. Now, outliers are any, any values that are below the lower fence. So we ask ourselves, do I have any values that are below 464.09? My upper fence is going to be any values that are, uh, for any outliers, are going to be any values that are above 495.05. Those are going to be my outliers. So do I have anything that's below 464.09? And I do, 458.5. Do I have any values that are above 495.05? And I do. I have 498.06 and 501.93. So my outliers are going to be the, the three values that I've circled, which are 458.5, 499.06, and 